Village in a Cavern. Item number, SCP-135. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-135 cannot be moved. Its nature renders conventional containment efforts unnecessary. However, the cave's entrance has been boarded up as a precautionary measure. Description SCP-135 is a village very similar to those of the indigenous blank people prior to European settlement, located in an extremely large cavern beneath blank county blank. So far as current exploration has shown, the cavern is accessible only through a narrow, twisting tunnel less than 5 centimeters high and 10 centimeters wide at its tightest point, known as SCP-135-1. By use of small ROVs equipped with either low light or near IR cameras, it has been determined that the village has a population of approximately 100 individuals, mostly possessing a high Neolithic technology level. The lighting forms a strange exception, appearing to consist of bladders filled with a liquid, which produces a cool blue light. The village water source appears to be a spring near the cavern center. The village's food source is currently unknown. Also unknown is how their air is renewed. Sampling shows it to be of normal atmospheric composition for the area, and of slightly higher ambient pressure than the cave, to which SCP-135-1 leads, despite that tunnel's being the only known connection to the cavern. Addendum Agent T discovered SCP-135-1 while investigating local mystery spots during a vacation in blank. The opening is well known in the local caving community, but unexplored due to its extremely small size. Purchasing a small RC vehicle, Agent T improvised a tethered ROV from the vehicle and her camcorder, flashlight, and laptop, and a length of video cable. The tunnel proved too small for human passage, even with an enlarged entrance. At the extreme reach of the improvised ROV's tether, the entrance to SCP-135 was found. A child of the village saw the light and began to approach. The ROV was quickly withdrawn. Personal Log, Agent T. You work here, you see a lot of strange stuff, but this village is just plain weird. How did anyone even get the materials in there? How did the people get there? Where did they get their air and food? I really wish we could bring the larger scientific community in on this. 